Good morning, friends. It's Kelly. I am back with another layout today. I am excited to announce that I'm going to be following along with Janet's 4x4 series. Um, I love this series. I've done it two or th twice. I've done it twice before, and it's just it's amazing. She's, she always has such good ideas and this is no exception. Anyway, so I will link all the information you need if you want to join along and do this four by four for four series with us. Um, you can go to her Patreon, which is the most reasonable that <laughs> she charges a dollar a month and for the amount of content and she it's exceptional she is just the best teacher and has the most generous giving heart so uh she's not doing it for the money <laughs> she does it for the love of this hobby and it shows and everything she does so go over there and support her um if you are not already so anyway so the deal for this series is you just pick four papers and you get a bonus paper and we're going to make four layouts. So um, this is a printout that she provides over on Patreon. But I chose four papers. This is my paper one. Uh, Paper two is not here because that's not in this, um, for this layout. This is my, oh, this is paper two and then paper four. So these are what I will be working with. And then I pulled another, just a background sheet. So that is what I will be building my layout on. Um, I mean, this is supposed to be a simple, four by four or four, 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 four. I cannot say that. <laughs> um, this is supposed to be very simple and I made it super simple on myself. I went with one collection. I went with the Maggie Home Sweet Story collection for all of my papers except one, which I'll show you that when I come to it. Um, but all my embellishments, everything is coming from that collection. I didn't have to think about what's going to match or any of that stuff. I just made it super simple. I picked four paper, or actually five, because there's my bonus paper. Picked five papers and just all the embellishments and everything, they all come from the same collection from Crate Papers, Maggie Home Sweet Story Collection. So... That is all for my intro. These are, well, I guess I shouldn't say that because it's not true. I'm gonna show you, these are the pictures I'm gonna use for my granddaughter's birthday a couple of years back. I just love the balloons in this picture. And my grandson is here and my great niece. So, and I, I'm gonna use some cut aparts for embellishments and some of the die cut packs. I even have some acetate, which we'll see if this makes it. I have a hard time using these. Some stickers from the collection. There's a rubber piece, a little bow from the collection, and then just some die cuts. And this is something that Janet went over this morning is all these branding strips. Instead of just chunking them, which I usually normally do. I actually pulled these out of the trash can because I had cut these papers yesterday and I saw her talking about this today. And I always feel guilty for throwing these away, but so I pulled them out of the trash, which there's no food or anything. It's not gross. It's just paper. It's in my scrap room. So, and I just cut the branding strips off and gave them a notched edge to create these little banners, which she showed how to do that in her video this morning. Um, so I'm going to try and get these on the paper on the pages and see if I can use these branding strips instead of throwing them away. And with that being said, I think that's all that I need to say for my intro. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy the process.
Okay, I wanted to pop this photo of my uh, kit that I will be using. These are all the papers and background papers that I pulled. And like I said, they all come from the Maggie Holmes Sweet Story Collection. And I'm doing my, using this washi tape to create some border strips. This is a trick that I learned from, I bet you can guess, Janet at RTS. <laughs> Do you, do you see a common theme with my scrapbooking here? <laughs> anyway, so I use the washi tape to create those border strips. And I'm gonna play around with these papers and kind of try and figure out what I want my, the base of my layout to look like. Um, that will change from this. Uh, I know that I, I know that I want to do like a central uh, belly band across the page, and so what I ended up doing was taking that four by twelve yellow pattern paper and just cutting it in half. So there's nowhere in the rules of four for four that you can't cut papers in half and use them in different. The rules were made to be broken. <laughs> That's my motto. So I am using this uh, edge edge punch to create a decorative border on these two yellow strips of paper and they will go right there. And I, as usual, will mess with it to try and get it straight. And what I did here was I just I knew that the, that that was going to go on top, and so I just put adhesive on the bottom part of the layout, and then I will attach the top part and add more adhesive. And I'm adhering those border strips I created out of the washi tape, and in a, mo a moment I will take it off camera and stitch it, and I'm showing you right there what I did where I added the stitching. And these are the Hello Lovely and the Dream Big and the other, they're all frames from one of the cut apart sheets in this collection and die cuts as well from the same collection. Cause like I mentioned before, I wanted to keep this super simple and what's more simple than having a collection and everything coordinates and you just have to move it around the page to figure out how you want it. It's not having to pull anything out of drawers or hunt for different elements. It's just all there, easy peasy. Um, I think about using that, I, I cut that frame in half and I will end up using that piece that I cut off the bottom in just a moment. You'll see that up here. You'll have to forgive me because I have a kind of a raspy throat. <laughs> I have a little bit of a sore throat, so I'm not feeling as chatty as I normally do. And I end up using one of those banners pieces that I had made at the beginning of, that I showed in the intro from my uh, manufacturing strip. And that little label is going to end up staying there and I will use that because I'm trying to pull that bright blue into other areas of the layout so it, it's a little more balanced because it's very stark right there in the center. And I'm just, uh, just moving things around the page as we do, trying to figure out how things should go. I wanted the Hello Lovely frame. I, I, that's gonna serve as my title but I didn't want the other saying from that pink frame. So I'm just covering it up with that big old rose. And the acetate pieces that I showed you at the beginning, they end up 
not making it on this page, even though I, tr I really tried to use them. I don't know why I have, <laughs> I have a hard time with those. And I used that um, rubber piece, the bow. Okay, now I'm adding um, the finishing touches here. Um, I am going to add that blue tab at the top. I, just, I had used that frame that I cut in half and punched a tab out of that. I glued the little sticker that says so lovely at the very top. I believe that's what it says. And that's about it. Um, the last step for this layout was uh, stamping the date. I'm not really going to add much uh, journaling to this. It's going in her album next to her birthday picture. So I already have journaling about this, but this was just the little balloon release at the end of the party. So I'm using Technique Tuesday's date stamp from, I got that at scrapbook.com. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this layout. It came together super easy. That's what I love about this series is these are fast, quick layouts. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload my next videos. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.